Spencer asked a question this month that is top of mind for so many people because you may have noticed I sent out a tweet earlier, I think a month or so ago, that said, guess what? CompTIA has made an announcement that says they're changing their exams. They will no longer be 100% multiple choice. So that's this is a pretty big change. We're, we're just so used to using multiple choice is what we're going to get for all the CompTIA exams. And they've said, well, you know what? That's that's too easy. We need you to do some work on the exams. So one one of the things you may have noticed is the brand new A plus exam that is out is one that is now using something CompTIA is calling performance based questions. They will have a number of questions within the exam, not the whole exam, but it's just a number of questions within the exam that are performance based. These performance based questions are going to be asking you to perform a function. They may be asking you to do some, some multiple choice type connections back and forth. They may be asking you to fill in the blank. They may be asking you to draw lines between different devices. This is a, a pretty important thing to have to know about. And I think it's really useful before you go into a testing situation that you are very familiar with the situations that you may be asked, asked to look at that you may want to know immediately what you want to see. So one of the things I really recommend you do is to look at a video that CompTIA made that describes all of the different performance-based questions, at least the style of the questions that you may run into. And if you go out to, I've got a bit.ly link for this, bit.ly slash exam dash test. That's bit.ly slash exam dash test. And that will take you directly to the video on CompTIA's YouTube channel. That really is a nice video. They step through every possible exam question type that you would expect to get. There's some where they are showing you having to type things in at a command line. There are others where they're showing you have to connect the, the lines between the devices that are similar. Some of them you're moving things and filling in some blanks. That is at bit.ly slash exam dash test. If you're at all interested in knowing what you might see during the exam experience, that's the place to go. And they also go through the whole exam front end. They let you understand. You see the exam front end. You see how the multiple choice questions are asked. You get to see exactly how the, the, the links are in the checkboxes for marking a question. If you're planning to do anything associated with performance-based questions, you need to watch that video. If you're taking a CompTIA exam, you want to watch that video because CompTIA has said in the last quarter of 2012, sometime in October, November, and December of 2012, they're going to update their A+, their Network+, and their Security+, Plus exam to include these performance-based questions. So no matter what you're planning to take, you're probably going to run into them. Make sure you watch that video so you know exactly what you'll be tasked with knowing. You walk in the door, and you won't be surprised when you sit down to take your exam.